Multiple severe thunderstorm warnings, even tornado warnings off to our west as of this Saturday afternoon. How does this translate and affect the region? We've got the details for you coming up in this video. An updated tornado watch out for the region. This goes through 8 o'clock tonight in the area you see there in red. It includes much of northern Illinois, areas of Iowa, southern Wisconsin, and all of our counties except for LaPorte here in the region. Uh, so we've got uh, obviously some rough weather heading our way, bulk of it off to the west now, but we are tracking this closer to the area here as of Saturday afternoon. In terms of threat from the Storm Prediction Center, we mentioned this in our earlier update, there's an enhanced risk for severe weather where it is ongoing now, a slight risk for us here in the region, and it becomes marginal as you get further to the east. The trend with this, obviously, the strongest storms are where they are right now, and that's where they're expected to be in areas of northern Illinois. That's where there's the most energy with this system, uh, at least as of right now. But that'll likely change as we go throughout the evening hour. This is the threat of a tornado, 10% uh, chance. That's really high for areas of Illinois. We still have about a 5% chance uh, here in the region, and that's a high number as well. So uh, we certainly can't rule out tornadoes with these. These are all supercellular thunderstorms, uh, as we mentioned earlier today. Uh, they're all rotating, and that spells the threat uh, of tornadoes. Not just that, but some large hail as well. There's also a threat for some pretty big hail as these move through. So let's get to the radar now. This is what it looks like here as of, uh, oh, we're at about 2.35 or so here on Saturday afternoon central time. Uh, so if you're watching this a little bit later, uh, there may be another update out, but I wanted to get this general update out to everybody. You can see some of these showers and thunderstorms uh, really all kind of circular in nature. Those are all supercells. Atmosphere structure today to produce rotating thunderstorms, and that's exactly what all these are doing. Thunderstorms rotate all the time, but when you have uh, enough instability and just the right amount of shear, uh, that rotation can turn into either a wall cloud or a tornado, and that's what we're seeing with these. We've already had multiple tornado reports out of these. You can see the latest there in the cell that we're going to be watching here in the region is that one just to the southwest of Joliet. This one right here and the one down to the south of that, these are going to continue to advance east. There's lots of energy with these in terms of being able to sustain themselves. These aren't going to fail out it's just a matter of how do they kind of uh, evolve over time and you can see the numerous tornado warnings on going off to the north and west of that as you get up towards north central areas of Illinois so all of these cells are rotating uh, not everyone has seen rain from these uh, so they are going to be kind of hit or miss but again we've got a pretty good shot at getting those two cells that are heading into the Joliet area eventually in Will County Kankakee County here shortly, and those will translate eastward. So the threat with these storms uh, will be large hail because there is large hail falling already within these, uh, but we do have a tornado threat. And you know how normally I like to talk us down, but I think uh, the chance for a tornado is there for the region here as we go throughout the afternoon. What we've been watching though has been lower instability to start our day as expected, but you notice that humidity starting to ramp up. So let's take a look at that. So this here is a satellite, and you can see the sunshine that we've had uh, with some low-level clouds flowing into the system from the south and east, but you can see the explosive nature of these thunderstorms as they go into a lot of sunshine, warming, and uh, more humid environment, and you can see just how they explode, and we're starting to see some of those clouds now across areas of Lake County coming off of the storms off to the west, but this is the area of low pressure causing it. You've got a wind flow coming in like that. You've got a wind out of the surface out of the southeast, so that creates that shear, but a pretty explosive environment here. Uh, this is actually a really ripe setup for severe weather, especially given the fact we are now in late May, so we've got lots of instability. So let's talk instability. This is the last thing we'll talk about, and then uh, we'll let you go here, but uh, the lines that I put on here, this is the cape. This is that buoyancy to the atmosphere or the energy for these storms to be able to uh, really rise up and uh, develop into strong rotating thunderstorms. And you can see how we've got a lot of purples here, especially over the morning hours, uh, indicating we didn't have a lot of atmospheric energy. That humidity wasn't here yet. The sunshine didn't really heat us up, but you can see those are starting to pull away. The bulk of the energy is where exactly we're seeing the severe weather now. We've got uh, areas, Cape values upwards of 2,000 joules per kilogram, which is a lot. That's enough fuel for the fire, so to speak. But you can see how this unstable air is slowly working in, but we still have relatively stable air across northwestern, northwestern Indiana. 
But eventually this will start to pull out over the next couple hours and the battle's gonna be how unstable do we get? We don't have the environment supportive for huge supercell thunderstorms now, but do we get that in the next couple hours? I do think we, we start to creep into that territory, especially the furthest west you are. So lake areas of Newton counties, I think stand the biggest risk for some of the severe weather. But again, that will uh, take a while to die out because these are going pretty strong. So uh, all of us do stand a risk for severe weather, but the further west we are, I think the highest risk. So as we evolve throughout the evening hours, we'll watch these storms move through. There may be another little line that develops back and behind these initial two storms that we'll keep an eye on. And then after that, we should be in the clear, but uh, we've got a pretty rough afternoon and evening potentially uh, if these storms continue to hold up, which I think they will, and we'll have to watch and see what else develops. So summary here, the biggest threat is going to be off to the north where it is, north central Illinois. That's where the instability is. We have numerous severe thunderstorms and tornado warnings there now, but it's this activity down in the southern flank, not as much energy, doesn't have the low pressure, but again, I think it's enough to sustain some of these supercell thunderstorms as they move in.